Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are here in Jurassic World Evolution number two. And let's get into the story campaign. I do want to say on a side note, I love it when games have this capability of just doing a simple check mark to not play copyrighted music. It makes the lives of us guys wanting to wanting to make content so much easier. Jurassic World. This, this is where our story begins. A scientific breakthrough without any consideration of the consequences. So nature did what it does and unleashed chaos. This time we were deeper into the illusion of control and the chaos brought something much worse. And for a moment, we remembered how precious life is. But time has a funny way of softening our memory of what it's like to lose control. And ambition. Ambition is a persistent thing. For the dinosaurs left behind, time was becoming immaterial. From miracles of science to assets destined for exploitation. Perhaps it's time we reflect on the true nature of nature. An endless cycle with one goal, survival. And this means that dinosaurs and humanity will have to find a way to work out their differences. To us, a desert is a wasteland, devoid of anything but the most extreme examples of life. But creatures once thrived in these lands hundreds of millions of years ago. Given the geological history that we're dealing with, dinosaurs walking among the tumbleweeds isn't that much of a stretch. The current situation, where dinosaurs are running wild, is untenable to those in charge, well, those that think they're in charge. So we're left with a problem or an opportunity. This is where you come in. They've ignored my warnings before, but maybe this time with you, it's gonna be different. Doubtful. I'm willing to embrace the uncertainty. Okay, I guess an introduction is in order. I'm Cabot Finch, Assistant Director of the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife. I know it sounds important, because it is, <laughs> but let's not get bogged down in labels and titles and organizational flowcharts. I'll make this easy. You work for me. See, nothing to it. <laughs> You'll be working with the experts. This is Claire Deering and Owen Grady. And yes, we have first-hand experience with the dinosaurs. I'm the former operations manager at Jurassic World. Owen and I actually helped build the park. And unfortunately, we were there to witness its destruction. And this is Owen. He works with velociraptors. Ooh. You could call me a dinosaur wrangler, though officially I'm an animal behaviorist. I was just building a level of trust with them when this happens. Okay. So we'll need to get a few things in place ASAP. Start with a response facility, equipped with both a Ranger Team 4x4 and a Capture Team helicopter. Okay. Oh, they want me to place it all the way over here. Okay. And plop. We are making excellent progress, so let's stay focused. Next step, building a backup generator, then feeding the energy it creates to the response facility, and also make sure the building is connected to the PATH network. It only does us good if it's operational. Hey, 
Hey, Claire. We may have trouble tracking this dinosaur from the ground, and even more trouble if we're lucky enough to find it. Then, the sensible thing is to take a capture team helicopter. Oh. You can trank it from the air. See? I like the way I think. Hmm. Locate priority dinosaurs in the surrounding area by using a compass at the top of the screen. Approach the dinosaur, then use R to switch to aim mode. While in aim mode, use the left mouse button to fire tranquilization darts. Okay. Okay, it just kind of follows the train. I was thinking there was a uh, actual door down, but not so much. There we go. Claire, this is Owen. I copy you. We have it. Capture successful. I knew you'd do it. Never had a doubt. Really? Well, maybe one or two. Well, it's better than usual. I'll take it. Now, where do we take this dinosaur? We have the enclosure. We just need you to deliver. Hey, don't I always? Wait, uh, you don't have to answer that. Collecting asset. Pause time using space to take stock at important moments or plan out your facility. Accelerate time using three to skip through processes such as dinosaur transport. And moderate usage of accelerated time to ensure problems in your facilities do not get out of hand. So that's number three, speeding up time. John Hammond was concerned about what would happen if dinosaurs lived in the wild. It adds a whole new level of challenge, and perhaps opportunity. Very onyx, huh? We'll just slow things back down. Asset has been transported. Whew, I instantly recognize this dinosaur. Kind of hard to forget once you've been trapped in a room with one. Mm -hmm. We couldn't save that Baryonyx, but we can certainly help this one. There's not a lot out there for the dinosaur to consume, so we'll need a feeder inside the perimeter of that enclosure. Hungry dinosaurs make me nervous. Can't disagree with you there. Hmm. Oh, there it is. And plop. Good to go on this end. Copy. Okay. We need to get a full assessment of the dinosaur's health. Utilize a ranger team vehicle. Owen will help you get a status of the animal's overall welfare. Then we can plan our next move. 
we really need that? A plan? I mean, I've always been more of a just make it up as I go kind of guy. Tell you what, if this doesn't work, we'll try your way. Hmm, that sort of sounds like a plan. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, Ranger teams provide the latest dinosaur welfare information via a status check. Construct ranger, ranger posts inside your enclosures so they can cover all of your species. Ranger teams can then be assigned to patrol ranger posts and will periodically status check all dinosaurs in range. We've completed our check. <laughs> Missing rock. While we can't replicate what we had on the islands, we still have to do what we can to get the dinosaurs more comfortable with their current surroundings here in Arizona. Sunscreen and drinks by the pool? How's that sound? Are you seriously asking? Or pretend asking? Okay, Claire. How about we add some preferred terrain to their pens instead? Better? Put a few rocks here and there. Man, working on this is actually a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. got to monitor these dinosaurs more closely. That means setting up a ranger post inside their enclosure. It sounds crazy, I know, but this will work. Trust me. Since when has that ever worked? Ah, oh, this will work. Trust us. Yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh. There we go. It'll ha it helps when you read the uh, bottom right hand corner. I'm getting reports of dinosaurs running freely around the facility, Claire. The reports may be accurate, but they don't paint a complete picture of our current status. Angry dinosaurs on the loose. What am I missing? They're not angry. They're simply acting on instincts. The more threatened the dinosaurs feel, the more hostile they'll become. Especially if they sense survival is at stake. But it is. Both theirs and ours. Yeah, but only we know that. For now, anyway. We'll start by tranquilizing one of the dinosaurs from the helicopter, and then have a transport team bring it back to the facility. Great. Do it. Where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> um, I only have one facility. I'm assuming you want me to put him in here. Acknowledging asset collection request. Guess I gotta do the rest of them too. This may not be the best thing to put the one in the cr in there, but whatever. Maybe I should have just let them drink. Three. 
Really? All right, I made a boo boo. Let's uh, trink that guy and trink this guy. Quick! All right, so <laughs> we're doing that. Um, Make sure they didn't uh, go after each other, because that would have been a no-brainer situation. Speed up time. Get through that. Asset transportation in progress. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic week. By the time this video comes out, this uh, game will have been out for two full days. Asset has been delivered. Asset transportation complete. All right, so we have to get some plants in here. Overall, I'd say our operations are improving. I'm confident we may get a handle on this yet, but I'm also concerned, specifically hmm. about our biodiversity. Still, for now, let's focus on getting the dinosaurs safe and secure as well as building some additional viewing galleries the DFW staff can use to monitor the animals. Alright, so... They aren't very comfortable. Oop. Uh, <laughs> um, they, yeah, they definitely need some water. Not much, though, it would it seem. Uh, let's lower that radius a little bit. There we go. Just enough to where they can get their water. Actually, let's bump that up. Um, oh, <laughs> should have seen that coming. Ah, okay. Let's get a little bit of mixture here. Ah, they want one of these things. Yeah, let's put it there, because that'll work out well. Um, hmm. 
Can we all? I'll do that. Where's status check? Ah, okay. Um, shoot. Having a brain fart. Where was that? With so many of the animals running free, our priority has to be capturing as many of them as possible. We can coordinate our efforts from an expedition center. Get one built and we'll take it from there. There we go. Yeah, spin it around here. I'll be able to track the dinosaurs, but some help would sure be appreciated. Claire tells me there are some candidates to recruit. Scientists. Hopefully you can find one as rough and tumble as I am. Yep. Need to go to the control center. Come on. Yeah, I'll go with her. She's middle of the road. Brand new to this, then so let's just stick with that. You seeing this, Claire? Yeah, I sure am. This is our first live capture opportunity. Let's not miss it. We should assign that scientist you just hired to the task. Agreed? Sure. Owen, you there? I think you're still muted. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, good idea. Uh, what have we got to lose? You know, except the... Maybe a new recruit. Before the remote capture teams return, we should have enclosures ready for the dinosaurs. Ew. Think of it as welcoming them back home. Yeah, come on. Nope. Uh oh. Yeah, but how about you just give me a few minutes? <laughs> Duh, there it is. All right, so we do need to get that enclosure built. Oh, that's why. Time was still sped up. It's like, wait a minute.
Sorry about that. Uh, you may seem to appear to see what may look like a glitch in the matrix. Not so. Just had to take care of something real quick. Anyway. Let's uh, pause it because I want to see what I can do with the environment before it shows up. So let's get some water going on here for these guys. Uh, I was going to put there. I actually might still do that. I'll just put the... Yeah, that's what I'll do. That'll work. Get back here, microphone. Something's going on with my uh, mount, and my microphone keeps moving on me. I'm going to go on a limb and just blame Cloud for that, but, you know, he can only do so much. So let's get the, uh, some ground vegetation going here. Leafy climbers. Let's get some fibrous ones. be nice if it just kind of added to it instead of just kind of, well, we're just going to do it with this part. want to get some nice trees populated in here. I have no idea what these do, but yeah. <laughs> I think I'm just mixing all kinds of things together. But speaking of which... Let's throw some trees over here. Give these guys a chance to have some shade. Alright. Um, I'll get rid of that gate. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, there it is. We're going to put the gate down here. Um, nope, that's an emergency shelter. I don't, <laughs> did not want that. Let's get a, one of these. Run that one on the correct side. There we go. Of course, because I have it paused, it's not going to do anything fantastic. Nope. There we go. We're just going to do that. Something like that. will work. And, uh... That's right. And I need to put one of these here. All right, it. Um, ooh, ooh, I can change skins? Apparently not. Not yet, anyway. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'll just get these assigned. Let's get time going again. 45 seconds. I really hope that's big enough enclosure for him. If it's not, we'll just have to kind of kick this part down this way. Kind of give this a road here. I don't want to be able to... Ooh. So it's already looks like it's selected to isolate the stegosauruses from the other dinos. The health seems to be fine on these guys, which is good. He's going to come and do a status check. Power generators consume fuel over time depending on how much power is being drawn from them. 
Ranger teams capture, capture teams and MVUs consume fuel and food as they complete tasks. These are stored at their respective buildings. Resupply food and fuel from the building's info panel as required. Transporting asset. Asset transportation underway. Which looks like it is this guy. Backup generators provide power immediately around them and when required. Backup generators consume fuel whilst power is drawn from them, so use them sparingly. Place backup generators to cover important facilities and keep them topped up to kick in if power goes out. Resupply! Fill her up! That might become a little annoying, so I wonder if eventually we can uh, have that set up to have that set up to be like an auto delivery type of deal. Delivery has been completed. Asset delivered. All right. And once he gets done, which I thought that's what he was doing, was doing a status check on these guys. Okay. Who's watching who? I'm not following you, Owen. Well, it's just like the dinosaurs are always watching us, so shouldn't we be watching them? Yes, we should. Once we have the dinosaurs comfortably settled into their enclosures, we'll need viewing galleries. That's what I'm saying. Only, you said it. Anything until they come and do the status check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't need that. Maybe they do like some hilly terrain, or maybe they prefer more water. I mean, rocky terrain, that is. I was gonna say, where's the dino over here? He is sleeping. Maybe not for long with that train coming by. Hmm, maybe we'll uh, put one more feeder in there for him. these guys doing? Have they finally been checked? Hmm. Vulnerabilities, hookworm. Okay. Please don't hit the guess. Ooh, they stopped. 
and they stare. Hmm. Maybe I gave these guys uh, some too many uh, trees, but we'll find out here shortly. fruit. That's what they want. Um, okay, that does provide that. We're just going to replace all the trees I put up with that, yeah. That should be enough to make them happy. And it is! Woohoo! Yeah, at least we got them plenty of water. Or enough water. And hopefully that's in a spot that they won't be too bothered by being in close proximity to that enclosure. For the last 20 seconds here. And actually, I might cut this enclosure a little bit closer. If it. If I get one more. Owen. Owen. We have a real problem. I'm trying, Clara, but it's just. Well, this is who I am. Not you. Ah, the dinosaurs. Tell me something I don't know. Okay, how about this? There's a massive sandstorm headed our way and it could wipe out the facility. Without power, the safety of the dinosaurs could be at serious risk. Okay, listen to me, Claire. We'll figure this out. Have I ever let you down before? Maybe. Actually, no. And I'm planning on keeping it that way. Everything we can do, we will do. We've survived worse. What's a little sand? Get that check. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, 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 yes. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty concerned about our current situation. As much as I'd obviously love to help out, I'm a little tied up. So, who's gonna protect the dinosaurs? And our personnel? Yes, of course. I mean, that goes without saying. I'm saying that it anyway. Slide? It's just, it would be a tragedy to lose these animals again. And by tragedy, I mean huge financial loss. And obviously an embarrassment to those in charge of the DFW. People such as you? Uh, well, actually, exactly me. So... How do we avoid that? Okay, step one, round up the stragglers and get all the dinosaurs back into their enclosures. Then we'll work on our safety ratings. This good? Yes, this is a plan I can support now and take credit for later. <laughs> Heading to collect the asset. Go ahead and close them as we're going to be collecting that dinosaur, getting it out of harm's way. Transportation underway. I think, uh, regardless of what they say, we're going to probably call the video there, guys. And another safe, happy landing. I want to see what happens at the end of this 20 seconds here first, though. Hey, good timing.
Arizona was secure. The dinosaurs were safe. Finch and the DFW had what they needed to keep the bureaucrats off our backs. For now. But the future? That was something completely different. And like I said, guys, we're going to call it there. So if you happen to like what you see, if you get yourself watching more than one of my videos, do yourself a favor and myself. Because you be helping me out. And hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That bell will let you be notified of every single video I post, not just like a few here and there. If you're already a subscriber and you've already rang that bell, I thank you and I greatly appreciate it. So with that being said, guys, until next time, take care. Peace. I wish we'd had more time to brief you, but as you know, the situation is fluid. Our Canadian friends are concerned that many of these wild animals are getting close to their border. We'd like to prevent them from crossing it. We being the CIA. My division is the DSD, Dangerous Species Division. I'm Dr. Dua. I have an extensive background in paleo research in this very field. At Jurassic World, and now, other locations I'm not at liberty to discuss. However, I have history with many of the people involved here. A poacher camp. What remains of it, anyway? Amateurs. They only succeeded in getting themselves and others killed. And making our job that much more difficult. <laughs>